It's peak week, baby! Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys do not already know, my name is Jordan, better known as Jordan T. Fit on all socials. After 16 long, long weeks, it is finally peak week. That means it is the week leading up to my show. Basically what you do in peak week is you just, you peak. You get to your driest, most lean self, so you're ready for the stage in seven days, so. I will be taking you through the preparation and pretty much what goes on during peak week because it's very interesting and a lot of physique changes happen in this week so it's super cool to just watch and see. As well as show day. I'm bringing you guys to Houston with me. I'm so excited. I live in Tampa right now. We're flying out to Houston Tuesday night so it's going to be super super fun and I just want to bring you guys through like the prepping of the show and then maybe show you guys what my post show meal will be and snack. So I'm just super excited. I just got a new vlogging camera, so you guys are on a stick right now. All right, to start this weekend off, my two friends are flying to Tampa to then fly to Houston and come to Alphaland and the show and just text us with us. So that's number one on our checklist today. So that's what we're doing right now. But first I have to get gas and fun fact, this is my first time pumping gas by myself since I moved to Florida three months ago. We did it, boys. Alright boys, we are officially five days out now. So for the past four days, I have been overloading on my water intake. I've been drinking two gallons of water every single day and peeing like a mofo. So today is the start of my water cut and that basically means we're going to cut all of the water slowly out of my body over the next few days so I'm super dry and lean. Another update for you all, now that I am five days out, we start doing low carb days. So yesterday was a low carb day. I only had rice for my carbs and a piece of bread. And then today, again, I my oats are getting cut out. But just for today and then tomorrow and the next few days, we carb up before the show. But on the bright side, today is nail day. Um, overall, I'm just so exhausted. I just woke up. This is my tired voice, if you couldn't tell. But five more days, baby. This is what we're starting with, very raunchy, nothing, nothingness. Yes. Nails did. My fingers are so raunchy, but. Soph's nails, hers are so cute. For Houston bound, you know? Texas. So today I'm basically going to pack. I have to do my 90 minutes of cardio. I still have to get my lift in. I stopped doing lower body last Thursday, so upper body only out from here. Let's get packing. I bought this suitcase literally a few weeks ago because I don't have one. It's pretty freaking big. Um, but truthfully, I don't have to pack much because to be honest, all I'm doing is going to the gym, doing the show, and then going out to dinner. P.S. We are getting sushi for dinner and I'm so hype. If you know me, you know I'm a freak when it comes to lists. So we have a whole list of everything we need to bring. This is what we're working with here. We have all of our gym fits right here. We have some comfy stuff. Socks, underwear, um, a cute outfit to go out to eat in. We have some toiletries right here, some hair stuff, some jewelry, all of our shoes, our heels, and our robes so far. So obviously on an airplane, you can't bring big containers of just powder. Um, so here is our green powders. I just scooped out the serving sizes for the next few days. Same thing with some vegan birthday cake protein for my oatmeal. Got our little vitamin case right here. I got this on Amazon. Just gummies. And then for some extra protein, just in case, like the day after, if I want protein powder, I brought these sample sizes of vegan protein from Beam. All right, so now we're going to get full body massages. We are leaving for Houston tomorrow morning, afternoon-ish. Wait. So the okay. point behind getting full body massages is solely because oh I want God. my muscles to pop on stage. Right now, I've been working really hard, so they're super tense and tight. So the massage will loosen them, thus making them pop on stage. Update, that full body massage felt literally amazing. Literally 10 out of 10. I told the person don't do my back too much because I don't want it to be sore and or tight <laughs> on show day. So they went a little bit light. But overall, 12 out of 10 experience. Four days out, I just woke up. So now that it is peak week, once it becomes five days out, my coach wants check-ins every single morning because at this point, your body and your physique and 
your weight is constantly just changing. So for example, yesterday morning, Monday morning, I woke up, I was 118.2 pounds. I just woke up today, I'm 117.7, you know? So I've been waking up at like 7 a.m. to just take my check-in photos just in case anything on my meal plan does change. Like I would like to know before I start eating breakfast and all my other meals. So there's that, but we're going to Houston, baby. Say hi, say we're in the airport. Currently on the hunt for black coffee, which we found, but there's no places to microwave meal prep, which is kind of sad. Yeah. We got an iced black coffee, and then I grabbed like four packets of Splendas, because it has to be zero cal. So there's that. Then we grabbed some forks to eat our cold meal prep. Meal one, ground turkey, no seasoning. But a house these. We gotta house these vodkas real quick. Down. Wait, meal number one, chicken and peanut butter. It's not bad. All you taste is the peanut butter. Right. We just got to the Airbnb. There's some of it is three stories tall, it's pretty big. I'd rate it like an eight out of 10. My room is up there. All right, here is the food hall. We have a shit ton of eggs, some ground turkey, some bread, some chicken, some seasonings. This butter spray because I put it on my chicken right now because we are currently doing no sodium for the next two days. Um, and then we just have some snacks for the other people in the house. And then of course our favorite, minute rice. We had two days out, baby. Here's the current physique. I just woke up, did my check-in, I'm waiting at 116.4 pounds. So yesterday I was 117.6, I believe. So we lost like a pound overnight. And that's simply because our water is being pulled and because our carbs are non-existent at this point. So there's that. We're currently meal prepping for the day because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be out of the house for most of the day. Um, so right now we're just cutting up a crap ton of chicken. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Today's agenda is going to be cardio, hang at Alpha Land while everybody in the house lifts, so I just can't lift today. And then we have my team pump up lift tonight, and then posing practice, and then I'm going to sleep because I'm already tired. Alright, we just got ourselves some coffee. We got Nob a puppuccino. I don't think he's ever had one of these. He loves whipped cream though. <laughs> Good. And then, which coffee is yours? Uh, this one. And then for your girl, we got a black iced coffee with just Splenda in it because we are still doing no sodium today. All we have today is cardio for me because I'm done lifting until the show. But here's a fit. We have an Anaka tee, some Alpha Elite shorts, and then just running shoes. <laughs> you can go. Dark sport. Oh, you can't even see me. Dark sport. Alpha Elite. And... Blazers. First day at Alpha Land, and me and my little figure partner right here are stuck doing 90 and 80 minutes of cardio when we could be downstairs with everybody lifting, but prep. <laughs> and yes, we are high key hungry. Our meal's two days out, so I'm dipping my chicken in my peanut butter again. It's honestly not that bad. And then just some white rice. I got jasmine rice, peppers, and the rest of it. <laughs> I can't fit in. <laughs> Did I anything in my teeth? What? Did I have anything in my teeth? No, we're okay. good. Yeah, ready? Currently on our way back to the gym, literally an hour later because Dana and I have our team lift. Everyone wave, ready? One, two, three. Team of four, ready, let's go. Currently one day out, feeling so good. One day out compared this year compared to last year is crazy because I was exhausted last year, yet I feel so good and I feel full and energized this year. So. I'm having a good good feeling here. We out all day, so we packed meal one, two, and three. And what's good about today is that the day before the show, you get to carve up, so our brain will be working functionally. It is now time to shower and shave literally head to toe. Um, 
So for the past like week and a half, I've been exfoliating my skin so that the tan, the spray tan goes on better. So now it's time to shave and then later today we are getting our tan. It's show day, baby. It is nice and bright and early. It's 5.30 in the morning. We are taking our check-ins currently. Hey. <laughs> and then our makeup lady's gonna come and do our makeup. And then we have a whole bunch of other stuff to get done. So let's get it. Meal number one is chicken and rice promptly at six o'clock in the morning. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. She bougie. <laughs> no? I feel so out of my element. It's <laughs> 9 10. Oh, it's like right here. Wait, oh, okay. There you go. Jordan, it's 9 15 and you have six hours until show day. How do you feel? Hype. Yeah. More, more hype to eat after, though. And then Novi. Aww. <laughs> so I'm excited for my mom to not be hangry no more. Hmm. Here is the hair. Who's your favorite? Go ahead. And the winner is number one. Good morning guys, what is up? It is the next morning. I just full washed my whole body, my whole face, my hair, everything. I feel clean and I feel good. So we won first in our class and then we won the overall for women's figure. 
I feel like when I won yesterday, I literally had tears in my eyes on the stage because when they were asking like, what number do you guys think won? And everyone's like, 152. I literally was like, like you just like, you get like a, a high feeling and it was just awesome. And the whole thing was just so fun. All the girls backstage that I competed with were so super sweet and so nice and everything was just so fun. I said it and I'll say it a million more times. I am extremely thankful and blessed. Not only that I'm sitting here doing what I'm doing, but for literally every single one of you, like each and every single one of you, I would not be here right now if it wasn't for you guys. I met so many of you guys, not only just at the show, but this whole weekend, like at Alpha Land in general. And like, I was excited for that. I was excited for the show, don't get me wrong. I prepped so hard. Discipline was through the roof. This was literally 10 times harder than my past prep. Um, but we pushed through and it was super fun. I saw all my friends and my boyfriend in the audience just screaming for me. And it was just super awesome. I just can't even describe how thankful I am. Literally, like every single day I wake up, I'm like, how is this my life? But now that I've won summer shredding, I get to be a sponsored athlete athlete. And that's super exciting because my coach and he is also my friend became an athlete a few years ago and he's doing great things. So I really think this was a step in the right direction. So I'm really happy that I pushed myself and got up there and did my thing. I was definitely nervous. My legs were a little bit shaky, but like it happens. My last show I was nervous, this show I was nervous. I think I was more so nervous this show because I had so many of you, my just amazing supporters, tell me that they were going to be there and that everybody was live streaming, my whole family was live streaming. So I felt kind of pressured because I'm like, girl, like you have all of your lovely people just watching you, like don't F this up. I felt super confident once I stepped on stage and heard the applause and all the support, I, I like all my nerves went away. And like, I think that's, that's probably one of the best parts. I was like, I literally, like I said, I, had a tear, I have like a tear coming out of my eye right now. So like I can say it a million times, like thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, but that's gonna get annoying, but one more time, thank you guys all for your support. I love you all. I just wish I could hug every single one of you. Um, but yeah, overall, I am so thankful and just over the moon, excited. I'm like still, I woke up this morning, I'm like, girl, you just won a an entire show. Like sinking in, like yesterday I was just so, so happy. Everybody I saw, I'm like, oh my God. Thank you so much. I am just so grateful and just so excited. I'm going to say excited a million times because I'm just excited. Um, just so excited to see what the future has. So I wanted to end this video off with a little recap on what the heck are you doing now, girl? So last night we went out, we got sushi. I got full pretty fast. I think I had like a whole roll by myself and then like a few sips of a big frozen drink and like a, a wonton. And then I was like, why oh my, my stomach hurts? So I stopped myself, which last show, I didn't stop myself, but this show I did. And then I like sat for an hour, we kind of just waited. And then my friends and I were like, oh, let's just go get ice cream. So I got like a little small cup of it. And then we went home and I took all my makeup off and um, put deodorant on because you can't wear deodorant when you get spray tanned. Um, and then went to bed. I also forgot to mention I did try the Buckeye brownie and it was so good, but like, I like I said, I was like so high, my endorphins and just adrenaline were just all over the place, so happy that I feel like I didn't even taste the actual taste of the brownie. So I had to like another bite later and I was like, oh, this is really good, but yeah. All right, so what now? So this morning I woke up and I weighed myself. I was like just about two pounds heavier, which was expected. I just ate real food in the first time in 16 weeks. Um, and I also was chugging water yesterday because on show day you can barely drink water. You have to like sip it. So I like literally brought my hydro jug and after I got off the stage, I was like, like all night with my hydro jug. Um, but yeah, so I woke up two pounds heavier today. I'm sure it will go down. And then I have been thinking about what I'm going to be doing now. I'm definitely going to take probably a year long break from bodybuilding just because my body needs it. My mental health needs it. Everything just... I just want to be normal again, like I said in one of my other videos. So my plan is to do a reverse, a very healthy, steady reverse. I'm not going to jump, go home and just jump into eating whatever I want. I do not want to do that. Um, my mind is set on going home tomorrow or tonight and tomorrow morning going grocery shopping. I made a huge list of everything I want to get. It's all very clean, healthy stuff, whole foods. I'm so excited to like cook real food for myself and healthy food. So I'm planning to 
still work with my coach, of course, do like a very, very great off season together. Um, and then eventually probably just do a lean bulk after my reverse. Um, and then I think I'm going to be doing a macro style, like following my macros rather than a meal plan. I think, I think I fell off last year because it was straight into another meal plan, eating the same exact stuff every single day. And I think I am more excited to, like I said, cook for myself and explore healthy recipes and eat like new stuff and you know. Like I said earlier in another video, I really wanna focus on my gut health. So I feel like that will be achieved if I can work on my own macros. And of course for lifting, I'm so excited. I think I'm hitting legs at Alphaland today. So I haven't gotten the really lift here because right before the show, like you don't lift, you just kinda of do like a pump up and that's it. And then your cardio. So I think we're hitting legs today and then we're gonna go home back to Florida and I'm just so excited and just over the moon. My eyes are still like watery. I don't know if you could tell, but they're literally still watery. I'm like, how did I win that? Like, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I guess I just want to finish this video off by just saying like, this experience was life-changing, amazing. It's just super awesome to think about. I'm like, still like, like I said, I woke up, I'm like, girl, how did you, did that really happen? But yeah, it's a great feeling. And I literally like, all yesterday, all last night, like my phone died because I was so busy just trying to answer all of you. And I saw, I literally like, trust me, I am seeing all of your messages to me, your DMs, your reposts on your stories. It's just like, the love is overwhelming and I'm just, I, I'm so thankful for it. Um, but yeah, I was trying to get back to as, soon, as many as you as I could, but you know how it is. Like there's only so much time and I was really trying to enjoy like my friends with me out and just the surreal moment, so. I guess to close off this video, I just want to say thank you for like the a millionth time for all of your love and support and until next time.